and uh, this was both requested so I'm going to be doing it a little bit sooner than I was originally going to do uh, because like I said if you really want me to do a video about something just ask chances are I'm going to get around to it eventually but if you ask I'll get it out a little bit sooner now for this uh, we're going to do some little bit advanced mapping here I took out the enemies I put in some things so you can see an add object but you can also see that the room is now twice as big um, which is good now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a thing where you can move around the map using your cursor and just go into the sides now the trick with this is making sure the map doesn't move too fast while at the same time making sure it's easy for the player to use so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new object called scrolling just give it a 32 by 32 sprite and we're going to add only one event, the step event and it will say this and I want to show you this feature that's on the right right now later um, the code is pretty simple if mouse underscore x is greater than self dot x plus 310 in brackets self dot x equals self dot x plus 3 so if it's uh, let me explain the numbers a little bit um, and the logic too uh, if mouse dot x is greater than therefore it's to the right of when x is greater than it's to the right of self dot x plus 310 because the self dot x the, uh, the way it's going to be set up this will always be in the center of the screen so we have the center of the screen plus 310 now our screen is going to be 640 pixels wide so we say if it's more than 310 which is less than half over then we start moving our object to the right now the reason we chose 310 is because half is 320 and 320 minus 10 is 310 you can minus 16 pixels, 20 pixels, whatever works for your game, but it does have to be less than half, otherwise your mouse has to be off the map, and you don't want to force the player to do that. He should be able to keep the cursor on the map. Then we duplicate that code and all the variations of it. Uh, here are the variations. If mouse underscore x is less than self dot x minus 310, and in brackets we have self dot x equals self dot x minus 3, if mouse is underscore y is less than self dot y minus 230 now our vertical is only 480 so we cut 480 in half which is 240 minus 10 is 230 so we chose 230 instead so if mouse underscore y is less than self dot y minus 230 in brackets self dot y equals self dot y minus 3 then lastly we have if mouse underscore y is greater than self dot y plus 230 then we have self dot y equals self dot y plus three. So that's the pretty simple code of it. Now we need to actually set it up. Uh, the hardest part is just finding the numbers um, and putting it exactly where it needs to be. You want to put it in the exact center of the screen. So if your screen is going to be three is six forty by four eighty like mine, then you're going to want to put it on the coordinate. 320, 240, the actual cube, and just click. That way the origin's in the center, so it'll center itself and it'll be in the nice center of the screen. Um, what else? Alright, um, go into Views and hit the top checkbox, which has Enable the Use of Views, and then check a Visible When Room Starts. Now, uh, you just want to keep these on their default settings, but the object following set to scrolling or whatever you named your object. And set the H border and V border to whatever half of your screen is. So if it's 640, set the, if your H thing is uh, 640, set it to 320. Because what the H border does is it, uh, trying to find a good way to explain it, what it does is when you reach that amount of pixels to the border it'll start moving and following the object so when this object right here is 240 pixels close to that which is all the time it'll move so if this moves two pixels down or three pixels like we said every step event this will follow it and it will do it right and we'll do it live so it won't lag 
Now H speed and uh, V speed just leave. You can leave that on uh, default too. Now I'm actually going to show you how it works. Do do do. All right. Kind of saw me shifting there. Let me put this in full screen. I'm going to select these objects. Now you can see me going to the left won't do anything. It won't move the screen any bit. Now we can move to the right and we can move diagonally down. Here we go, we move in diagonally. Of course we'll reach the bottom first. Now we're in the corner. I just clicked there. I already selected my units so they'll be coming by. Yep, here they are. So now I just move them to the entire other side of the map while still being zoomed in enough. Now, um, you can't really change the zoom in Game Maker that well. Uh, that's that's a little bit of a feat, but um, it's not necessarily uh, impossible. But um, still works, and of course you can make the object scrolling not visible. That way it looks more uh, realistic. And uh, you can move right, left, up, down. It all works make your units move them across um, now uh, one thing you may notice is it that might have looked slow to you moving if you think it looks slow go in here and uh, hit this little magnifying glass and hit find and find the variable in this case it's three and hit whole case only and replace with and if we want to make it faster four we could hit replace all and now it's all that we can change it to four and change this to three we can switch them all back so that's helpful uh, mostly for switching variables and syntax um, it's a cool feature I just wanted to sh put that in one of the tutorials also I mentioned it before you don't need to put self dot x and self dot y you don't need the self dot I put the self dot in to make it easier to understand so you can follow it but you can just put X and Y. It all depends on what object the code is going to. X and Y will just go to the root of the object, uh, the whatever code the whatever object the code is adjoined to, which you can set here: self, other, or object. And if you do self, self dot Y is automatically assumed. If you just put X or Y. So, thanks for watching. Please write, please comment, and if you have a request for a video, just submit it. I'm probably going to do it anyway, but I can always do it sooner than later, so thanks for watching.